they gave me this Bible. And so I thought, if you don't mind, I'd like to use it. And maybe get you to sign your name in it, too. I'd be very happy to. Where would you like to have it? Oh, well, I think we just put today's date, which is what? Uh, 16. Over here on this side. That would be great. Secretary designate and Mrs. Schultz and the Attorney General. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Today, I'm reminded of the old saying, let George do it. <laughs> George, from now on, I think I'll have a few things for you to do. On behalf of the American people, I want to compliment the Senate for its wisdom in approving so rapidly and decisively the nomination of George Schultz as our next Secretary of State. The Senate's swift action augurs well for continued cooperation between the Congress and the Executive Branch and for strong leadership of the State Department. I turn qualifications for this vital position. America's always been blessed in times such as these with citizens of stature come forward to make certain the job gets done and done right. Those who know him testify that he's a man with care and who inspires confidence and leaves no doubt that he's capable of the vital task that we're giving him. Of all the responsibilities of the presidency, shaking grips with the decisions which most directly affect the delicate balance of peace and which secure both the immediate and long-term well-being of the United States. When looking for the best, quality people. I just want everyone to know that I'm fully aware that George and Don Regan <laughs> and I don't find that a handy. Support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies foreign and domestic. Against all enemies foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this ob obligation freely. Without any reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. That I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office on which I am about to enter. So help me God. Congratulations. I thank you. You have done me a great honor, and I recognize fully the responsibility placed upon me. I said in my statement to the Committee on, of Energy and Intelligence and Dedication I could, and pour all of it into performance on this job, and I impressed with the importance and depth and difficulty of the problems that we face, which with creative and constructive effort, we may be able to do something wonderful with. And I feel the warmth of this gathering, and it's a family affair, and 
that gives me, uh, gave me such a thorough working over and examination, and I think in a very constructive way and thorough way, and in the end voted promptly and decisively to confirm me as secretary. Mr. President, in your, in your inaugural address, you said that no arsenal, no weapon in the world is so formidable. Often do you put succinctly the essence of the matter. And I say to you that I will take these words of yours as my touchstone and foundation as I approach the conduct of this great office. I thank you very much, Mr. President and my friends.